A lovely shot of the pedestrian bridge over by Gonzaga University. Oh boy, that's the money shot. Wow, fall colors. The bad news is we've got this tremendous wind event coming in Saturday. It's gonna be a lot of raking after that comes through and a lot of that beautiful foliage will be long gone. Maybe you could get out and enjoy it and take some pictures on Saturday during the day. Your forecast first for tonight, we do have some rain showers moving this way that will be uh, with us through the evening. It will not be a very lengthy event, but may uh, spoil some of your Friday night football fun. Partly cloudy tomorrow, a high of 63. That's well above average with rain and wind coming in late. Sometime after five o'clock is my thinking between five and eight for tomorrow. 54, our high today is exactly average. We started the day off at 42. No precipitation at the airport. 546 is our sunset time. It's 52 right now in Spokane. Northeast winds at 8 miles per hour. Still clear in Coeur d'Alene for the time being at 54. Northeast winds at 9 miles per hour. A wind advisory goes into effect at 8 o'clock Saturday night. Continues until 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday for the area shaded in orange on your screen. Southwest winds sustained at up to 35 miles per hour, but gusts close to 50 miles per hour at times. And uh, so that, again, that's going to take a few leaves off the trees. Our immediate concern is this rain that is working its way through the Palouse and flirting with the Spokane uh, County line right now. That is going to move across the rest of the region and finally north into the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho overnight. As I mentioned, it's a narrow band, so once it clears, we're in for a break from the rain tomorrow morning till tomorrow evening when this storm comes through. A strong cold front bringing with it rain for overnight Saturday, wind, as I mentioned, the wind advisory going to effect at 8 o'clock, and then some cooler weather behind it as well. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 40s. Rain likely moving from south to north through the evening. Omak and Moses Lake tomorrow, a chance of rain by the afternoon. We'll be dry for most of the day in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene with that rain coming in tomorrow evening and the wind really picking up tomorrow evening as well. In the Northeast Mountains and North Idaho, a chance of showers mainly in the afternoon in the higher terrain with more rain coming in tomorrow night. Showers, a possibility for Libby, Kellogg, and Kalispell, just a sh uh, slight chance, but dry tomorrow in Moscow, Pullman, and Lewiston. 60 in Seattle, 59 with rain tomorrow in Portland. It's 56 in Yakima. Here is your seven-day forecast. It's a little complicated. So we have the light rain this evening and then a break through the day tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies, then a wet and windy Saturday evening and night into a windy Sunday with a chance of showers. Also a 10 degree drop in temperatures. Gather our strength on Monday for a very damp Tuesday. Another big system coming in.